The next statistic that we're going to learn is called Kendall's tau. Tau the Greek is the Greek letter for T. And it's spelled like this, T-A-U. So Kendall's tau measures the strength of the monotonic relationship between X and Y. And just like Spearman's rank statistic, tau is also rank based. Tau statistic is easy to compute by hand and is considered to be more resistant to outliers than Spearman's, co than Spearman's statistic. It also measures monotonic correlations that can be linear or nonlinear. Kendall's tau, uh, just like other types of statistics for correlation, max out at positive one where the agreement between the two ranks is perfect and it goes to minus one when the disagreement between the two ranks is perfect. We calculate tau based on a ratio on top of the something called C which is the number of concordant pairs in the data set and D the number of discordant pairs in the data set. And I think it's easiest to describe what C and D are on the next slide. Concordant pairs are the number of observed ranks below a particular rank that are larger than that rank. That's going to become obvious what we mean when we have a table. And discordant pairs are the number of observed ranks below a particular rank that are smaller than that rank. So C is the number of these concordant pairs and D is the number of the discordant pairs. And if we add up the two sets of pairs, C plus D, well that's the same thing as half n times n minus 1. So it's easy to remember this formula in terms of just C's and D's and we don't have to remember this at all. So we just have C minus D over C plus D. Now let's see what these C and D's actually mean. Uh, here is a uh, table of AQI and population. I've ranked the cities based on one of the variables, AQI. In order to calculate the number of concordant pairs, what we are going to do is for each observation in this table, look down the population rankings and count how many observations there are that have a higher ranking than the row that you're on, than the ranking associated with the row that you're on. So in this case, the ranking for population is 3. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 observations below this level that have ranks higher than 3. In this case, the rank is 9. And we only have one observation, this one, that has a higher ranking. Here the ranking is 2. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 observations. And we are going to keep filling out this table in the same way. So we have two observations greater than seven, two ranks greater than eight, four below this one, then three. There's only there's two observations greater than five below five, so that's two. And then here we don't have any. And here, by definition, the last row is always going to be zero. When we sum up all of the CIs, we get our capital C. C equals 26. So there's 26 concordant pairs. Now let's do the discordant pairs. In this case we're doing the same thing as before. We're just looking for uh, observations below that ranking that are less than that ranking. So here the rank is 3 and we have two observations, 1, 2, that are below it. Here the rank is 9. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 below that. Here the rank is 2, and we only have one rank below it in the table. Here the rank is 7, and if we look below this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we fill out the rest of the table as such. And when we sum up the discordant pairs, we get capital D equals 19. So now let's go back to our formula over here. We have C minus D over C plus D. So C is 26 and D is 19. So we have tau equals 26 
minus 19 over 26 plus 19, which is just 26 minus 19, which is just 7 over 26 plus 19, 35, which equals 0 0.2, 1 fifth. We can take this tau and apply a standardization and end up with a z statistic. So if we apply this formula to the tau that we've just computed, we end up with a z statistic and we can use that z statistic in some inferential testing. So in our case, we had three tau, so tau was 0 0.2 n was 10, so we've got 10 times 9, so root 90, over the square root of 2, and then 2 times 10 is 20 minus 5, over 15. And when we calculate all of this out, we get 0 0.808. And this is a z-score, so if we have our distribution like this, our z-score of 0 0.8 is about over here, and we know that significant values, you know, are usually above 2. So this is in the zone of exception, acceptance, and therefore our Kendall's tau tells us that, the, that there is positive autocorrelation, but there's not enough evidence to tell us that these two variables are actually related to each other in the population.